goblins keep coming from? The satisfaction of stomping a sandcastle. The joy of toppling a tower of blocks. The sinister glee of shoving over a snowman. Reketeer emulates these small destructive pleasures by letting you use your connect to fling projectiles at medieval castles and bring them tumbling down. Smashing these cartoony keeps is mild fun, but Reketeer's real appeal comes from aiming your shots just right and maximizing your score. It's a puzzle game of sorts, and the dual goals of castle raising and score chasing make Reketeer an entertaining way to flex your connect. You're the newest member of a three-man ballista crew sent on a rampage around the kingdom to destroy goblin-infested structures, and your two AI buddies teach you the ropes. You mimic grabbing the ballista, pulling it back, aiming it, and then releasing it to fire. It's a simple process, and the Kinect performs well, affording you a good degree of accuracy that you'll need to tally high scores in later levels. The creak of the ballista's joints and the thunking release of your shot provide nice auditory accompaniments to your actions. Once you're airborne, you can swipe at your projectile to nudge it in different directions. Triggering dynamite, hitting goblins, and snagging power-ups can help boost your score and deliver more damage, so mapping your shots is as important as executing them. Early levels make it very clear what the best trajectories are, but later levels challenge you to tweak your aim, shot strength, and mid-air nudging just so in order to score effective salvos. You also need to make good use of your different shot types. Bomb shots boost your destructive power, while lift shots need you to help them along the way. Steering a flying shot with your arms spread out like wings is novel fun, and though the split shot can meddle with your depth perception a bit, the widespread havoc is well worth the trouble. Your shot type and order is preset, so you won't always have the optimal tool for the job. Figuring out the best way to use each shot and then executing your plan gets more and more satisfying as the levels get trickier and trickier. You'll likely end up restarting and retrying a bunch as you angle towards that perfect shot, hoping for the rubble to fall your way. Reketeer's chunky destruction modeling adds some unpredictability to each shot, but it's consistent enough to make you feel capable of repeated success. <laughs> yes! Seeing this success manifested in numerical fashion is gratifying, especially when you surge past your friends or the default AI score. With score-boosting shields, a destruction multiplier, and emblems for specific feats, there are plenty of ways to push your total even higher. This knowledge comes in handy when competing against a friend locally, and though the player switching is awkwardly handled, it's still good fun to try to outwreck your buddy. There are dozens of levels in Reketeer, enough to make the 800 Microsoft Point price tag seem very reasonable. The challenge of pushing your score higher and higher pairs nicely with the base satisfaction of destruction making Reketeer a fun summer diversion. And the best part? You don't even have to clean up after yourself. Smash-tastic! Inconceivable!